Hey guys, a little bit of a different video today, rather than focusing on the painting, where I'm actually going to be focusing on um, a subject that I just thought I'd want to talk about. Uh, and that is going to be dealing with frustrations, with a recent example of mine when it comes to spray paint art. So I had this idea of a very simple spray paint piece, there was only five plain colors to be used, and most of the work would be cutting out the stencils rather than actually doing any of the painting. I had this idea for a simplistic silhouette of the main ruby cast in black, surrounded by a color used to represent that character. Um, again, this is a really simple idea, meaning it would be a fast and easy one, right? My mock-up took only minutes to finish, and the silhouettes took an evening to trace and cut out for the next day. But unfortunately, it didn't pan out quite as simple as I'd hoped. On my initial attempt, I had everything go awry at the final step, the big reveal. I'd lay down the initial colors, dried them to some amount, placed the stencils, and then went to town with various colors around them. Once I was finished, however, I had an issue that I didn't quite see coming. When I tried to pull up the stencils after completing the last square of color, the stencils stuck to the paint a little too much. Not only was my initial painting ruined because it had pieces of the stencil applied to it, the stencil could be ruined if it was torn too much because of how much it stuck to the paint. This was extremely frustrating for me, not just because my project was ruined, but because a small project was ruined. You see, when you think about a project and how easy it is to complete, it's a lot simpler to find yourself getting frustrated if it doesn't turn out as easy as you had initially planned. When I thought about the painting, I thought about how it had so few colors, it was so plain, therefore it had to be easy and quick to make. When you look back at failure for trying to tackle something large, a huge piece, a clutch win, you can't always blame yourself for failing. Maybe you tried your hardest, and you should just be happy with that. But on the other hand, if there's something that you see as an easy task, something that shouldn't take much effort, and you fail at it, it's a lot easier to be hard on yourself. This is exactly how I felt when I had initially failed this painting. Because I had this mental image that this is a simple painting, I was telling myself in my head that it was going to be a one-and-done perfection piece. When it didn't turn out perfect, I had to go through a few motions that I wanted to share with you. Hopefully I will help you the next time you get frustrated. First thing I did was I step away from it, not only physically but mentally. I knew that before I could do anything to fix my problem, I had to go in with a better approach. If I didn't change anything, I would get the same result, but before I could change anything, I needed to think clearly and logically about what had to be changed. If you're able to step away from your frustration for a little bit, I would recommend doing so to relax, clear your mind from the frustration before you return to it. I'm still addicted to Apex Legends, so I played a few rounds to give my mind other things to focus on, letting some of that stress go. After a few games, it was time to return to what was causing me stress, the painting. The key here is that when you return to what was stressing you out, you need to keep a calm manner about you. If I was calm while playing Apex, my failure shouldn't rekindle emotions that I had since pushed down. I then had to think about why it was frustrating me, try to talk it out with myself, essentially. At first I had this thought, this is frustrating me because I cannot do a simple thing. But after some review, I thought maybe I am exaggerating to myself how simple this should be. It's important to realize that the things in your mind are not as simple as they are in real life. I then had to think about my options. I had already been frustrated once, I didn't want to be frustrated again. One thing that I did to help me realize exactly what I would need to do was act as if nothing was wrong on my initial try and continue on with the painting. And what I mean by that is that I'm saying, don't give up as soon as you realize that there's an issue. Follow through and you might find that there are even more issues you can consider fixing before they come up in your final draft. For me, this saved me a lot of headache. After I'd pulled up all of the stencils, I started to peel off the tape that I had laid down to border the different colors. When peeling this tape off, I realized that if I peeled too quickly, it would tear up pieces of the paper itself and sometimes the surrounding paint with it. After going through all the steps, as if there were no issues, I had to make a mental plan on how to avoid the issues from last time. The only reason I realized that the tape was going to be an issue is because I followed through as if nothing was wrong. This was great help so that I wouldn't finish my product, pull off the tape, and then realize it too late. After making the decision on what I was going to do, I had to stick with that decision. I decided that I was initially too rushed to finish the whole piece and needed to slow down and make sure I can get each section right before moving on. So what I did was just that. I first laid out a whole layer of black across the whole canvas. Rather than dry it with a hair dryer or flame, I let it sit for a day to be sure it was fully dry before I proceeded. After that, I would block off all but one section and work on only one section at a time. This way, if I ruin one of the sections, I wouldn't need to redo the whole painting. 
From here, what I did was lay down a stencil, paint carefully around it, and then remove the stencil. Again, as much as I wanted to move on quickly, I had to stick with my initial decision to let it dry out for a day before I continued. This process lasted five days instead of the single day that I had wanted, and required that I go through more gloves, but I'm happy with the final result. In all, I suppose the message of this story is just because you're taking on a small or simple project doesn't mean that you should view it as something easy. It never hurts to put a lot of time and care into a small project so that you can avoid running into some of the same issues that I did. Thanks for watching!